Hello boys and girls, I'm Pearl Wisdom, and today we're going to be looking at goaltenders and NHL free agency. And if you look up here, some of you may not know. Here, there we go. See that? That's uh, it's my Twitter. Come on over and join me there at Pearlism, Pearl is NHL POW. But today we're going to be looking at free agency. I saw an article of uh, Campbell and some of the places that he may go. I also uh, was going to do one just on Campbell. However, Huso and Campbell are probably going to go to some, the same places. And I also, when I did the Bobrovsky trade one, which you might want to check out. By the way, this is all on the fly. I do things completely on the fly. No editing, no nothing. Go. Right off the top of my head. So, but well, we did a Bobrovsky trade video. And in some of the chats that I was in, and, and anybody, all the people that are talking in the chats are on Facebook, either on Facebook or on YouTube here. Sub up so you can talk to me on YouTube because I love those chats as well. Uh, very valuable information, by the way. I think fans sometimes have a their heart, their, their fingers on the heartbeat of their team a lot more than the experts do in a lot of times, a lot of cases. And... There, but there was a lot of people saying that they were they were going to get Huso. They would rather get Huso, you know, at three to three and a half million dollars a year. Well, I got I hate to disappoint you, and I could we could be wrong here, but I've heard it from several places that he's going to be much higher than that. And so we're going to look at Huso and Campbell, where they both may go, and I'm going to ask each team fans that are out there, so make sure you're subbed up so you can comment who you would rather have between Huso and Campbell and why. So, but this all comes from an article that came out on the Hockey Writers uh, Inc. The, um, the, hockey, the Hockey Writers are really starting to come out as a leading um, site for information and news and stuff like that. And uh, it's some really good writers in there as well. So we're going to take a look at that. And then we're going to take a look at five, I think it's five or six teams that either Campbell or Huso may go to. And why maybe one may be more li likely to go to than the other to each particular team. So for now, let's look at the article in question and sub yourself up so you can be part of the comments. I love talking to you guys. There we go. This is the article in question. Again, this comes from the Hockey Writers. And uh, pretty good insider. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a sneak peek because it's talking specifically about the Oilers here. And yes, the Oilers will be one of the teams that we're talking about for one of these two. The news, the news that so little headway has been, has been made between Toronto Maple Leafs goaltender Jack Campbell is, and has led speculation that Edmonton Oilers might be eyeing Jack Campbell. Yes, uh, apparently they haven't even made an offer for Jack Campbell as of yet. And he could be their top target. Uh, Sportsnet's Mark Spector, who is an insider, not my favorite guy, but he's usually pretty good for inside stuff. Uh, with Rob Stoffer, he has his own show. He's really good. Has potentially identified Campbell as the best bet. And the reason why, this is, this is why I wanted to get into this. The history of uh, Spector, Holland doesn't have a history of spending much on goaltenders which is silly as far as I'm concerned, uh, which takes out John Gibson, Semyon Barmolomov, and actually Gibson, I think, has already stated that he, that uh, Edmonton is, not on, is on his no-trade li list, so that's not happening. Um, and they would have to trade for Barlamov. Campbell might be the best bet, since the Oilers don't think $5 million for Huso is the best investment. Did you hear what I just said there? Five million for Huso. That is the number I've been hearing everywhere. Five million for Huso. Now, so 
they would rather go with someone more proven. I think Campbell is probably going to be in that same number, $5 million. In fact, I have heard as high as possibly getting up to six because there is probably going to be 10 teams uh, that, and they also talk about Kemper as well, but we'll get into that some other time. Uh, all signs are, look at, this is what, Huso is the action guy here because of his age. This is Pierre Lebrun talking now, who also is usually very good with these things. Guys like Pierre Lebrun, they don't throw out information without, right out of talking out of their ass because they have a reputation to uphold. And they're part of a network that is going to look really bad if they're just throwing that information out there. Not to mention, if you want to be an insider, you can't just be throwing crap out. Is if you want to be a solid insider like Pierre Lebron is, because teams are just not going to talk to you anymore. And if they don't talk to you, well, you're not an insider anymore, right? So they believe that the Oilers will be among 10 teams calling on Huso July 13th. If 10 teams are calling on Huso, then I would imagine. I wouldn't doubt at all that it goes up to five million on each one. So now we're going to look at each guy, and then we're going to look at where. What, what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six teams that they may go to. Okay. So Billy Huso, Billy Huso, late blooming, uh, goaltender. He is twenty-seven years old. And drafted in the fourth round, 94 overall. But he's only 27. That's one big thing he has over Campbell is he's a lot younger. So if you're going to sign to like a five, six-year deal, then um, then he's only going to be 33 at the end of the deal. The thing is, now the thing is, he has really only had one good year, which was last year. And it wasn't so spectacular, honestly. He didn't have a great playoffs. 2.56 and a 9.19. A lot of the times, he looked pretty good. No doubt about it. Um, it's not uncommon for goaltenders to hit their stride at 27 years old. So if teams are, are going to be heavily talking into their goaltending goaltend coaches, looking over the tape, saying, is this... Is this a guy that's, you know, a budding star? Or is this a guy that is like, you know, a 1B? Something like that. Um, almost assuredly, there's going to be some goaltender coaches out there that can say, I, I can make this guy way better. Yeah, pick him up and uh, we'll do what we can with him. Now, one of the things we have to look into here, take in mind, is they, they also mentioned Darcy Kemper. And uh, that was the only goaltender they really mentioned and Varlamov those there is not a huge goaltender market out there right now especially for guys that can play number one so if people think that Huso has a potential to be their number one it would not surprise me at all that he gets five million for like four or five years maybe even more so now we look at Jack Campbell Jack Campbell is 30 years old he's been around the league a lot more he was a very high draft pick by the Dallas Stars, struggled early with anxiety issues, apparently. Um, had serious anxiety issues, but overcame that in L.A. Uh, and started putting up some good numbers. Now, they had Quick there in L.A., and it didn't look like he was going to take over that role. So Toronto went out and tossed, I think it was like two seconds or something, and picked him up. Um, and he had some solid years. Uh, he had some solid years in his last year in LA or second last year in LA. He had a 2.29 and a 0.928. Now, uh, what Spectre says about they they were more inclined to go with Campbell makes sense because he has actually had some really nice numbers in his past. Uh, his 2020-21 season, he had a 0.921 and, and 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 look at his playoffs numbers as well. Really good. And then this year, back down again. Had some injury issues. So it's been good year, bad year, good year, bad year. So is he in for a good year now? Now you're looking at 
again, probably five. I've even heard six. If there's people out there that think he's going to, he could be his true number one. If there are teams out there that think this 2.15 and a 9.921 uh, is something that is attainable on a regular basis for him, you could be looking at six. But I'm thinking somewhere around five. Um, so the question to you now, if you're saying five years here, he's 30. Now you're pushing up until he's 35 for Campbell. It's up until he's 32, and then you can reassess the situation with him. Or, sorry, with uh, Ville Husso. Now, if Ville Husso shows that he doesn't have the chops, you're in big trouble. If And that could very well be with Campbell as well. He's had injury issues. He didn't have the most spectacular year last year. That could be the right, you know, you're taking a gamble on either one. And I guess you always are with goaltenders. Okay, so we're going to look at six teams here now. We're starting off with Colorado Avalanche. And you're going to say, well, they have Darcy Kemper. Maybe. Maybe they have Darcy Kemper. They just won a cup. And honestly, Colorado fans, by the way, if you want to discuss this, sub up right now. Sub up to my channel, my YouTube channel. Comment in the comment section. We'll talk about this for days. I'll be down there. I believe that, uh, not only do I believe, what I saw, and you can tell me if you agree with me, I think the Colorado Avalanche won a cup with one of the, probably the worst goaltending performances of any cup can t pl team, at least in the last 30 years. He was not very good. He wasn't great, but they won a cup anyways. They won a cup kind of despite Darcy Kemper. This year, that could have been, he could have been hurting. I don't know. But that's the other thing about Darcy Kemper. He's injured a lot. He doesn't seem to have a lot of stamina. Now, that being said, he just won a cup. There's probably some team out there that's going to pony up $6 million for him or more per year. What Markstrom got in Calgary. Now, if you can save a million, do you think Campbell is any... Do you think Kemper is that much better than Campbell? Uh, look, look, we'll look at Kemper's numbers here. He's first of all, he's thirty-two too. Kemper, Campbell's two years younger. Somebody's probably going to give him four years at six million until he's thirty-six years old. Because goaltenders are hard to find out there, man. And there's teams that need him. The market's pretty huge right now. Now, he had a 0.921 and a 2.54. Now, that's wonderful. Those are good numbers. Look at his playoff numbers. God, he, awful. 9.02, and you won a cup with that? That's amazing, man. Um, but, and, and look at before that, in Arizona, 0 0.907. He had a solid year in 1920 and 1819. But honestly, he hasn't been all that spectacular since those two years. And you'll say, well, you know, a 0 0.921 is good. Sure it is. But Colorado makes their goaltenders look good. Look at what Grubauer did, Grubauer did in Seattle. Um, wasn't really a big Grubauer guy. He almost won a Vesna. Colorado's defense and forwards and, and their system seems to make goaltenders look really good. How good could they make Campbell look? I think they could make him look good enough. Now, what about Husso? So, and this was the other question for every one of you out there, all the teams that I'm doing this. Would you rather go with Huso at 27? I think in Colorado, maybe they might, you know, roll the dice on Huso. They got Fran South there. Roll the dice on Huso instead? I don't know. I think I'd take the more experienced guy. Campbell has played, has some playoff experience, a little more playoff experience. He's probably going to come in at about the same number. They might be able to commit at a, get him to commit at a lower number than other teams because they just won the cup and he could win a cup there. Um, however, if Campbell decides to go somewhere else, maybe Huso is the, is the guy. Maybe they do give him a shot. But I just don't think Sackick's going to pay uh, a guy. Like, we just looked at Huso's numbers. Go back and check it out. Who's had one really decent year. Uh, I don't see him paying $5 million for that. 
I could be wrong, but I don't see it. I think it would be Jack Campbell, and if they can't get him, they'll keep Kemper. That's what I think. So, But I think they will be kind of hashing back and forth and seeing if they, what, if they can pull out one of them. But they do have Kemper in their hind pocket. I don't think Kemper really would want to go anywhere else. But I do think he's going to push his number at six. Are you going to want to pay Kemper six? Tell me what you think, Colorado fans. The goaltending market is going to be cray-cray this year. Next, Washington Capitals. And we already talked about Washington when we talked about Bobrovsky. Uh, I liked the idea of possibly, I mean, I don't know if I like the idea, but it's possible that Washington whiffs on all the goaltenders out there. They go somewhere else instead. Um, and Bobrovsky would work out well. But it's also possible that they could pick up a guy like Campbell here or Huso. Now for them, which one would be better? Um, Again, I think you got to go with the experienced guy here. For me, you can tell me what you think. Sub yourself up, Washington Capitals fans, and let me know what you think. Sub up to my YouTube channel and, and comment in the comment section. But at both making the same money, around $5 million, I'm hearing, for, for either one, the, on, on the Campbell side of things, you get a guy that's better than what I believe is better than what you already have with Banachek. And Samsonov. You could use Vanacek or Samsonov to get maybe some some picks or something like that from another team because the goaltending market's going to be pretty crazy out there. And I imagine there would be a team that would pony up something for either one of them, whichever one you wish to do that with. Now, again, at $5 million, there's going to have to be some movement in Washington because... Washington doesn't really have the cap space to do something like this. Um, $8 million a year. Uh, they've got $8 million in cap space. And you know, they get, they're going to have to fill out their roster. they got, they got to find somebody to replace Schultz. Defense has been a problem for them. I think they would like to get better that way. Uh, we talked about it in the Bob Roski deal. Somebody's going to have to go. Like an Eller... Uh, hopefully they can have some young players. Now, Nicholas Backstrom is supposed to not be coming back, maybe even at all next year, in which case that could probably solve it. You get your $5 million. But I do believe Washington needs a goaltender, experienced goaltender there, if they're going to have any chance at all. Do I think they actually have a chance with one of these guys? Not really, no. But they're not rebuilding like I think they should. I think they should be rebuilding. Most Washington Capitals fans that I've talked to in the chats think they should be rebuilding. But they're not. So if you're not going to, you might as well give yourself the best chance. I think if you're going to give yourself the best chance, I wouldn't roll the dice with Huso myself. I would take Campbell. Now, if Campbell's off the board, then I would go back to the Bobrovsky move that I was talking about before in Florida. Go check that out. My, the Bobrovsky video I did as the possibility there. Um, you know, maybe if Colorado gets uh, gets Campbell instead of Kemper, you can look at that, but that's going to be more expensive. I like Bobrovsky because of the whole Russian thing in Washington, and, you know, maybe they can help him grow into, keep rolling his season last year was pretty good. Maybe you can help him keep rolling that way. All right. Tell me what you think, Washington Capitals fans. Next, the New Jersey Devils. And I had to put the New Jersey Devils in here because when I talked about, again, the Bobrovsky, when I did the Bobrovsky video, New Jersey was in there. Put it up on the boards in Facebook. Uh, and everybody was like, they want Huso, Huso, Huso. But the thing was, they were thinking they could get Huso for $3.5 million a year. Now, if you haven't watched this whole video, guys, I'm going to show you again here right now. Uh, go over. Ten teams are going to be calling on Huso, they figure. And here we go. We have Campbell. This was Spectre saying that Campbell might be the best bet since the Oilers don't think $5 million for Ville Huso is the best investment. You hear that? Five million 
for Villa Huso. Are you still liking Huso at $5 million a year? I think Campbell's going to be around the same. So would you rather go with Campbell? Campbell's 30, though. You know, it's going to be five years until he's 35. Or you stick with Huso. I mean, I could see New Jersey going with Huso and waiting for Dawes to, to be ready. And then hopefully Huso is strong enough that he's got trade value. The, the problem with that might be because there's 10 teams going on Huso and Campbell, even one of these teams might even give them a full NMC. No movement clause. Then you're stuck with it. But do you want to go with Dawson? Like you saw how it was catastrophic. And I know that New Jersey fans said that it's not really the goaltender's fault. It was our defense, team defense. I think it was more team defense than actual defensemen on New Jersey. You can tell me if you agree with that or not. But um, let's face it, Dawes is not bailing you out. And I think he'd be better off in the AHL for a while, slowly moving up rather than getting crushed in the in the NHL. So, you know, maybe even and maybe it doesn't work out with Campbell at all, but uh, or Huso, and then maybe Huso's the only one you get, and you throw him the five million. So at five million, what I want to know though, New Jersey Devils fans, do you still like Huso at five million dollars, or do you like Campbell at five million dollars if it's the same? Or even maybe Campbell might even be a little bit higher because he has more experience. It's hard to say. It looks like when I'm doing this video that there's going to be more teams interested in Campbell first and then Huso second. And if Campbell comes in at five and a half, maybe you get Huso at five. But there's going to be a lot of people in line for both of them. And I think it's going to be, it appears, and this isn't the first time I heard that in that article, that five million is a number. So what do you think, New Jersey fans? Do you want to throw Huso five? You want to stick the way you are? You want Campbell instead? All right, next, the team he plays for right now, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, the, the talk is that, and we mentioned it in the article here, that there has been no movement on talks with Campbell in Toronto because they've only got $6 million in cap space. They got a restricted free agent in Sandine who shouldn't, I don't know what they want. They're probably going to have to give him a bridge. He might get like $2 million or something like that. So that's $2 million of it. Um, uh, Mikhaev, apparently, they're not even going to touch. He, they're, he's, they're, they're willing to give, uh, to, to, they're trying to trade his rights, which means somebody going to give Mikhaev eight years. That's interesting. Uh, you know, so in which case they keep Pierre Ingvall. That eats into it a little bit. Next year, you got Kerfoot, Bunting. Man, oh, man, oh, man, the cap situation in here is insane. But the fact is they're going to need a goaltender no matter what. Whether they buy out Mrazek's contract, what an awful contract that was. Um, or, I don't know, trade Jake Muzzin. Like, you got to have a goaltender to win a cup. You have to. So if, he's, if Campbell's looking for five, it's possible that they might not have any choice but to give him the five anyways. If he And from what I understand, he loves, 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 loves Toronto. Is he going to take less to stay in Toronto? Will he do it for four and a half? Maybe. But so far, talks have not been out there. So it sounds like what they're going to do is they're going to let him go to free agency, see what the number is, and then they'll try to work out a number from them. Then there's the obvious, there's also the always talk about trading maybe William Nylander out there, signing Campbell instead and getting some players to be able to, at a cheaper value, and trying to run like that so you get some depth. That's been out there a long time. I did a William Nylander trade video a little while, quite a while ago. Maybe I'll do another one again. But I, I have them as the third possible team that they could go to. But the more I talk about it right near, because I do this right on the fly, the more I talk about it, the more I think Toronto can't lose them. Because their other options are going to be either Huso's got the same, 
or Campbell or, uh, sorry, or uh, Kemper. After that, there really isn't a number one out there. And Kemper's probably going to be six. So the more I think about it, the more I think it's possible that he just stays in Toronto. Next, Chicago. I think this uh, this is for Huso or Campbell. And this is the one team that I think would be more likely to go with Huso. Uh, Campbell is 30 years old. He's going to demand like $25 million con, five, $5 million a year for next five years. Chicago might even have to go higher than that because they're on a rebuild. And I think his if he had his druthers at 30 years old, he'd rather go to a place where there's more likelihood that he's going to get a cup. Um, again, there's some issues with... Uh, what do they have for projected cap space? Twenty million. That's a lot, but they who do they have to sign? Doc, Kubalik, if they want to sign him. How do they have twenty million in cap space? Oh, because they have no goaltender. That's one reason. They have no goaltender. Dehan's off the books. I mean, you got a lot of guys leaving. But you know, they could sign Lankinen, and I think Maybe give Huso a shot. I think this is a team that would be good to get Huso. Huso and Lankanen combined. Um, no, no pressure on Huso to win here. They're not going to be winning for a while. They can give him a shot for five years. Uh, you know, I think Huso is a bit of a gamble. I, you know, he's improved every year up until now, and there's a pretty good chance he is going to keep on improving. Go to go a little more to the beginning of the video where we look at both uh, Ville Huso and Jack Campbell's numbers. But he hasn't really put up spectacular numbers. That being said, Chicago doesn't really have to win. And if Huso does turn out to be, you know, a, a late blooming number one goaltender, and you can get him at $5 million a year now, I think it's worth the gamble for Chicago. If he doesn't work out completely, it's not that big of a deal for them. Because by the time they're relevant, they can have another goaltender anyways, right? So this would be the team for me most likely to grab, uh, to grab uh, St. Louis, or Huso from St. Louis. Another thing is they would have played against him more than most of the other teams we're talking about here too. So they would know Huso probably just a little better than the other organizations and maybe have a higher value of him. Um, so Chicago for me for Huso is probably my favorite one. It's probably my favorite place that he lands. Assuming Huso at 27 years old is looking for a big payday and isn't too worried about winning a cup right now, right? So, and I think all the teams that are winning, looking to win a cup right now are probably going to be looking more towards Kemper, who's already won a cup, or Campbell that has more experience. So, finally. The, what was the one that was in the article, Edmonton Oilers. The Edmonton Oilers I have is the number one spot for Campbell or Huso, actually. Um, however, I think it's far more likely that it's Campbell than Huso. As I said in the article, they're more interested in Huso. And the big are more interested in Campbell because of experience. And the big reason why is this guy right here, Zach Hyman. Zach Hyman came over for 5.5. He loves it in Edmonton, from what I understand. He's very happy here. They paid him a healthy sum. They've taken good care of him. He's been fantastic. I He played for Toronto, obviously. They grabbed him, signed him from Toronto. I think it's very likely that Zach is talking to Jack. And saying, you know what, Edmonton's pretty cool here. You got David. You have a really good chance to win here. Um, you know, I, I don't know how big it is for Jack Campbell to stay. One thing we didn't look at is where were they from? I think Jack Campbell is from. He's from. He's from the United States, but he's actually would be moving further away from his hometown in Michigan. You know, they, which is possibly why Toronto. He ends up staying in Toronto. He's closer to home. But 
if he's going to go somewhere else, I think Edmonton is the big, the biggest possibility. Now you're going to say, well, Edmonton Oilers fans, cap space. We don't have cap space. Look, you just you get a goaltender now and worry about the rest later. You got cap space to get them. Then you got to look at, you know, you, uh, I've heard that they're looking at uh, buying out Cassian. Um, Pulley Harvey and or Yamamoto gets traded. I hate the idea of trading Jesse Pulley Harvey. I know a lot of you guys out there don't like him because uh, he, he doesn't pass an eye test very well. He doesn't pass an eye test very well for people that are not looking at positioning and stuff like that. He um, he is a most he's an incredible positional player, a fantastic positional player. Does he pound players in the corner? No, but I don't want to get too far into that. Apparently, one of the two are going to be gone, and the other one is Tyson Berry, and apparently there's a market out there. Praise God. There is a market out there for Tyson Berry. Full cap. Full cap. Some some teams out there actually will take Mike Tyson Berry at 4.5. Hallelujah. You can have him. In which case, I would put him at 11 million. And maybe you can just, I know they just want Kane like crazy. I personally would take Pulley Harvey and Yamamoto over Kane together. But I know a lot of people think I'm nuts. And it does, but it doesn't sound like Kane's going to stay. I don't think he's going to stay. I think he's probably going to get overpriced for Edmonton. And even then, I'm hearing still they trade Pulley Harvey. But that's for another day. But I think he, this is the most likely team. This is going to be the most driven team to get Campbell. Do I think Campbell's good enough? It's possible, I guess. It's hard to get guys to go to Edmonton. Looking down the road, I mean, who else are you going to take? Who else is going to be available? They might just have to fly with it and hope. Is he better than – is he really better than Smith? I'm not so sure about that. But Smith is almost 40 years old. Uh, is he better than – was he better than Koskinen? Sure, yeah, absolutely. And then Skinner is the backup and you – if Barry's gone, everything else is get better to get more defensive defensemen. Uh, they need better defensemen. That is the big thing to me. Goaltending is necessary, but really defensemen is the most important thing for them to get. Could you get Duncan Keith to retire and find some good, solid, analytically solid defensive defensemen, please? All right, Edmonton Oilers fans, what would you do? Who's so or Campbell? Would you do it? Remember, $5 million a year you're talking about. Five, year, five years, $5 million a year, I think, is about the number that we're looking at on the open market for Campbell. What do you think? All right, that's my full 42, everybody. That's all I got for you today. I wanted to do this. You might be asking about what's my, what about the Matthews? What about Matthews? You did the Matthews series. I'm going to be doing that all through the summer. And that is a hypothetical. If Matthews was going to get traded, what would you give up for him? How much would you give up for a guy for Matthews? I already did one of them. Go check it out. Everybody sub yourself up. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Okay, bye.